All right, so as I said, I did work this summer with a team of people to uh, start a company called Exuda. It's a 501c3 nonprofit company. Um, and really, if I had to give it one main business goal, it would be to eliminate the practice of payday lending. So when I grew up, I would like to say I came from a pretty privileged background. I had a great family. I had a house. I was able to receive a great education. But it wasn't until I came to Bentley and started working with the Bentley Microfinance Group that I realized that one advantage I had and never really thought about was that my family had a bank account and access to mainstream finance. When you look at the numbers, there are 25 million people in America alone that are completely unbanked. Now when I say unbanked, I mean no debit card, no bank account whatsoever, no credit cards, car loans, anything like that. Completely unbanked. And with them, there's another 40 million people that are considered underbanked, meaning Yes, I may have a basic checking account, but no, I can't get car loans, no credit cards at a reasonable interest rate or anything like that. So there's 60 million people, pretty much double the population of California. These people are just like all of us. They need money too. But what the difference is is that when they need that money, the hoops they need to jump through in order to get it. So I'm just going to go through today with you guys, give you some examples to kind of get you in that mindset of what someone in this situation would need to do so that when we talk about Exuda and what we offer, it can mean more to you. So let's start off with someone who's underbanked. Let's take me, a college student. So when I was 18 years old and I started off at Bentley, yeah, I had a checking account, debit card, no credit cards, anything like that. And for all of you who go here or have been to college, it's pretty expensive. Now, of course, tuition's expensive. You know, a lot of colleges are reaching upwards of $60,000 a year these days. But it's the unforeseen costs that really get you. It's the textbooks, it's the food, and weekend expenses, let's say. So when you're a college student, you come to Bentley, or any other school for that matter, I had to pay for my textbooks. So what am I really going to do? And for anyone here who recently turned 18 years old or you know, recently got into college, you realize that once you turn 18, what starts coming through the mail? It's the credit card offers. And the credit card offers look something like this. $2,000 credit card, sometimes anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000. You get 0% interest for 12 months, which sounds awesome, because we all know what interest is, and it's not good. And then you also get no penalty on your first late payment, which is awesome, because we all also know credit scores are pretty important. What we don't do is we don't read the fine print, which means, hey, you know what, after those 12 months, your interest rate rises, and it's going to be 27%. Now, in my research that I've done personally, we know that credit card interest rates can go anywhere from 17 as high as 30%. But unfortunately, me at 18 years old going to Bentley University needs to buy textbooks, I'm what they like to call a first-time borrower. And that means I'm risky, which also means I need to pay more money in order to get the product. So what really happens? I buy my textbooks, I buy food, weekend expenses again, and so I'm racking up these bills. And it's awesome because, I don't know if you guys know this, but with credit cards, you only need to pay $25 a month, which is awesome. So my first 12 months, no interest payments whatsoever. I'm living the life. You know, yeah, it's creeping up to $2,000, which kind of scaring me. But I pay off a little bit at a time. It's going great. Then month 13 hits. And I get this cool new charge on there in my statement that says interest. And unfortunately, it's a lot bigger than the minimum payment I've been paying. So, the worst thing that can happen to you at Bentley University, or any other business school for that matter, is if you're using a financial calculator and you get the message error five. Now, for anyone who's ever gotten that, that means the problem you're doing literally does not have an answer. And that's what this graph shows. So if I have $1,500 of debt on my credit card, an interest rate of 20%, which is lower than what most people my age would be quoted, then look at what happens. If I make the minimum payment every month for the rest of my life, that doesn't actually go to zero. It means I will never pay it off. So at 19 years old, probably, if you know, I got at 18 and a year went by, I'm already stuck in a cycle of debt that I will not be able to get out of for a minimum probably five years. Because I'm here at Bentley. I'm you know, taking five classes a semester. I swim on the swim team. I do other extracurricular activities. I can only work five hours a week. How am I supposed to pay for that? So, we see what it looks like for underbanked people. And if any of you thought that was bad or have been in a situation like that yourselves, you're thinking, yeah, that's not good. But let's see what it looks like for someone who's completely 
unbanked, because it only gets worse from here. People who are unbanked need to use what I like to call alternative financing solutions, or methods, sorry. And they're exactly what they sound like. They're alternatives. So, you know, someone who's fully banked can go to a bank and get, you know, what's considered mainstream financing. These just replace them. So, what we got is three examples of what we call alternative financing methods. One, money orders. Now, these are often considered or um, like put together with people who want to send money back to their families abroad. So they come to America to work and want to send money back. Um, check cashing is when you don't have a bank account, you can get cash for your actual paycheck. Um, but al also, with both of those, they like to take a 15 to 25% rate off the top. So if your paycheck's for $100, you're really only getting $75, $80 back. Then payday lending is the worst one of all. Because you can take out a loan anywhere from $50 to $600 to $1,000, but it's all due on your next payday. They take it all out of your paycheck. And a lot of times they make it so that you give them access to your bank account so they can take it whether you have that money or not. So what do the interest rates on this look like? Interest rate average 400% annually. But on the side, there are also some companies that are nice to their customers, and they'll say, forget about interest rates. How about on every $100 I lend you, you owe me $20 of interest payments? So let's look at a $400 loan. There are plenty of uh, payday lending stores actually in downtown Waltham. You can go to any of them and do something just like this. I get $400. Let's say I'm lucky I can pay it back in three weeks. That's $80 of interest alone, just in three weeks. That'll be the same as if $20 on every $100 paid in interest. So you see just three weeks, $80 of interest. That adds up quickly. When we look at the payday lending system, they're $25 billion a year revenue. And that's pretty sad because 60% of that revenue is made up of individuals that use this at least 12 times a year. So when you look at it, those people who are going 12 times a year, let's say an average loan of $400, let's also say average payback time of three weeks, you're paying almost $1,000 a year in just interest payments. Now, there's no one here, no one watching this anywhere that wants to pay that, but the people who have to pay it are the people who most certainly cannot afford it. So now, Let's move on a little bit about this company that I'm really excited to be a part of. If you know what Kiva or Zedisha are, micro lending institutions that focus on abroad, this kind of mimics the way that those work. It is crowdsourcing, but it's for people in our own neighborhoods, in our own communities. We work with other nonprofit organizations who already work with these individuals to bring them to us so that we can source them 0% interest loans over 12 months, anywhere from $50 to $600. Now, it's not just for lending. We're not looking for repeat customers here, although we would offer it. We're looking to help these people, give them a loan, teach them how to be responsible with their money and you know how lending works, what a credit score is. If they pay it back correctly, we can report their credit score, give them a leg up, but we can also write them letters of recommendation, and we are trying to partner with local financing institutions to then get them a bank account and graduate them into the world of mainstream finance. Now, while Exuda and I have been told to stress this is still in its beta testing phase, we are very excited at the possibilities that this can bring. And I wanted to read a quote for you by Margaret Mead. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And I want to stress this, because as much as Exuda, I feel, is a great organization, I'm happy to be a part of it, it is nothing but a tool, a tool for you, me, and the rest of the citizens here to use so that we can not only help those in our community, but we can raise awareness for the stories that, you know, how people are being taken advantage of financially, the struggles they have because of this, and how we can really help people in our own communities. Thank you very much.